Hi, Sean here from Gordon's Garage. This is my Prusa i3V 12 inch one month review. I've been using the Prusa i3V 12 inch for a little over a month now. I've logged about 300 hours on it with prints of various sizes. Um, everything from, you know, this monster skull to small test prints. Um, done a little bit of everything. And uh, here's here's my experiences with it. So overall, I'll say the uh, the Prusa i3V is a great overall value. Um, for the price of it, you can't beat it. Um, it's got a huge build volume, uh, relatively good precision, and it's got all the necessities. They didn't really cut any corners. And they did do things cheaply, but without sacrificing quality. So I'll start with pros and cons, and then, uh, then I'll proceed to some of the issues I've had, and as well as some of my recommendations, and then I'll do a bonus section on on future upgrades. For pros, cost and build volume are definitely king. Um, I don't think you can get a better price printer with, or with the full graphical LCD, headless printing, and you know such a large volume. The, the 12 inch cube volume is, is huge. Um, cons? Uh, the only real cons I have are it's the resolutions, uh, I'd say medium, like the 0.1 millimeter layer height and the XY uh, resolution with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. It has some limitations, but it's good for general purpose printing. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, the other con I have is that it, it does require a bit of tinkering. It's not quite a uh, you know out of the box solution, but then again, I don't know if any 3D printers really are. So issues, uh, I've had a couple issues. Uh, one issue I've had is just about all the fasteners on the aluminum rails have come loose on me from, from many hours of printing. Um, I think that one might have been self-inflicted. I probably didn't tighten them up enough to start with, so you know, make sure you get them good and snug when you when you assemble your your kit. Um, the second uh, issue I've had was the wooden bed has started to warp a bit, and it's now rubbing on one of the rails. Um, I'll switch to a photo here, and you can take a look at, at what that looks like. Um, my plan to fix that is just to notch out that part of the the wooden bed. And the third issue I've had is with the uh, the heated the heated bed. Um, I did use a uh, ATX power supply, 430 volt power supply, against uh, Colin's recommendations. Um, I did have some issues, like my I do have more voltage drops, so the voltage drops down to about 11 volts, which you know constant results in higher current through the heated bed. And uh, I've had some issues with overheating some of the relays or some of the uh, contacts on the relay so you can see you know the insulation's burnt and this relay had or this contact had to be replaced um, so I wouldn't recommend using an ATX power supply uh, follow Colin's directions um, I've tried to fix that by replacing the uh, the contacts and I'm using heavier gauge wire to account for the increased current but again I would not recommend using an ATX power supply and I do plan to switch up to a uh, a constant voltage power supply uh, per Collins recommendations. So overall I'm really happy with it. I've had great success with it and would definitely recommend it. It's, uh, it's a great value and a really good printer for somebody who's interested in getting into 3D printing. Um, now for the upgrades. So the one upgrade I've done so far is I've added a cooling fan to the nozzle. This has helped with my uh, bridging as well as uh, prevent oozing when I'm when doing tall narrow prints where there's lots of heat put heat going into it and uh, not a lot of cooling. And the next one I plan to do is the auto bed leveling. So I bought a servo and plan to you know, set it up with the limit switches and uh, implement it in the software. Uh, yeah, so overall, really happy with it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments. I'll, I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, and if you like the video, definitely hit the like button. Thanks. Bye.